Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pikmin. In the last episode, we entered the Forest Naval, got three ship parts, defeated the Mushroom Boss, and we discovered the final type of Pikmin in the game, the Blue Pikmin. And in this episode, I know I mentioned I was going to be going back to the Forest Naval. However, there are two things we need to do right now. One, we need to get a ton of Blue Pikmin. And the best way to do that is to actually go back to the impact site because there are a ton of pellets here. And it's not a wasted trip because, as you can see, there is one ship part that remains to be collected. And there's really no better time to go back here than right now since we just got blue Pikmin. And they're a pretty nice commodity to have and we're going to need a ton of them. So, let's go back to the impact site for this episode. Spawn a ton, a ton of Pikmin. And then we should be good from there. And primarily, we're going to be getting a ton of Pikmin. This is the day to get... Basically, all the Pikmin you're going to need for the rest of the game, there are a ton of pellets. And, and when I mean a ton, I'm not I'm not exaggerating. There are a ton of pellets. So, our 16. Hopefully, we can, like, exponentially grow that number by the end of this episode. Because we have a ton of reds, and we're not going to need any more reds for the rem rest of the game. I would think, right? Because we have 140. Unless something major happens where I lose a ton... We shouldn't need a lot. And 14 yellows because, you know, why the heck not? We're going to need them, I guess. Alrighty, so the goal here. Let's go ahead and create the path for this because we're going to need to get up here. And while they're doing that, I think they already finished it actually, which is kind of nice. We're going to want to make this geyser work because we need to get up there as well. And nectar. Lots and lots of nectar that they're just drinking up one... Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and have some Pikmin climb this. You know what? That's fine. That one blue can take that back. And that's the reason why I wanted to sprout 100 Pikmin is because when we're bringing Pikmin over to the onion, when we're make, I do not know what I'm saying right now. When we're getting Pikmin pellets and bringing them back to the onion, they will automatically sprout onto the ground. But if you have 100 Pikmin, that's not the case. So overall, that's a pretty good thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and have these guys just carry this stuff back. And do I have enough? I do. Now, even though these are for like red Pikmin and these are for like yellow Pikmin and stuff, we're going to give all of this to blue Pikmin. And that's pretty important because blue Pikmin, like I said, are a nice hot commodity that we don't really get to take advantage of all that well. But hopefully by the end of this episode, we can do that. So let's go ahead and have, I'll have some carry this back too, I guess, because why not? Can I have the rest of the Pikmin carry this back? Are you kidding me? Just bring it back. No, I don't want the reds carrying this back. I want the blues to carry this back. What part of that don't you get? Here. Let's just have them carry that back. Is my throwing that awful? Like, good lord, just take it back to the thing. Thank you. <laughs> that is not hard. We're going to be spending all day doing this. This is like a full-on episode right now, you guys. So, be prepared for things like this to happen. And we have a ton of time to do this, so... That's good. There we go. And then we're going to need to... Get this or this other 10 pellet here. And then we should be good, I would think. So, have them carry that back. And what Pikmin are we missing? Because I think we're missing three... According to my numbers here. Oh, they're all they're over here. Well, there's, okay, there's all three. Okay. So now that we have a good amount, we don't have a lot. But we have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the reds back. Uh, I'm going to put like a few back. And then we're going to take out the remainder in blues. And, oh, I have to wait for them to do their thing. Okay, that's fine. Hurry up. Get back in there. Alright, come on out. We're gonna need a ton of blues. Because, well, there are these, like, little one pellets we can grab, but overall, I don't think they're gonna be that useful, and I just almost burped it. Okay! That's fine. Actually, that's actually pretty good, because, well, uh, we can get nectar from this, and if I can get his head. If you hit him in the head, he'll make goodies appear, and that's pretty good. So you're just gonna wanna have to spam, like that, nectar, boom. And you're just going to want to hit his... Look at all this nectar! The only problem is I'm throwing my Pikmin willy-nilly and they're really not... No one though, I'm not even aiming my cursor at all. So I'm just kind of like losing track of where all the Pikmin are going. Did I already... Okay, no, I didn't have all 
500 out on the field. Uh, where's all this nectar that I just saw? So here's some here. You know what? Bomb rocks are actually pretty useful. Uh, we only need three, so I don't know why they have them. Uh, did I not see any more nectar? Did they already grab all this nectar that I did not even know? You know, if I start separating and then they start grabbing stuff, I'm going to be hella. But luckily, I'm not hella, so it's okay. Okay, so now for the what we have here. We're going to want to blow up this wall. And luckily, it only takes three Pikmin to do that, which is fine. So they'll just do that right there. Perfect. Now, we're going to take all of our Pikmin. We're going to go on a little trip through our favorite place. Uh, I'm missing ten. Where are the ten at? Well, they're just chilling, hiding away from me. Because they don't want to be, you know, they don't want to work. So that's fine. They're freeloaders, you know. And I know I left some behind over there. I'll come back for them. Don't you worry. Look at all this stuff here. There's a part there, but there's also these pearls. These pearls spawn 50 Pikmin, if I'm not mistaken. That's a lot of Pikmin. So we're going to just go ahead and have them break this wall. And trust me, they're going to do a pretty good job at it. Because that's going to take us straight back to base. Which will make bringing that part easier. So that's good. So we'll have them just kind of do that. And I guess I'll rally up all the Pikmin that I left. How many are out in the field? Just all them back there. Which is fine. So let's see. Actually, I could just go back to base and meet them all on the other side. That would actually be a pretty good idea. Come on, sirs. We got a job to do. And the job is not to dilly-dally. Uh, is there any more just kind of lying around? Nope. It seems like I might have accounted for all of them. Which is pretty good. Oh, you know what? It's a one-way train, isn't it? That sucks. Well, uh, okay. Well, I actually kind of want the blues, though. The blues are a hot commodity, for sure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go after the ship part first, because obviously that's our whole reason for coming here, right? Uh, can I please have the Pikmin just climb this slope without sliding off? That would be great. Okay. And did I lose one? I lost it. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. You wanted to drown. I don't know why I thought that was smart of me. But that's fine. Okay. So, here we have this part right here. This is... Did I, do I not have access to it right now? Or do I have to, like, do the thing? So what you want to do is you want to hit this first. And you want to pull the Pikmin back immediately. If this clam snaps down, it's going to kill you. So be careful. And I'm going to do it here. Uh, how many did I lose there? One? Well, I guess one's not that bad. As for the amount we're going to spawn, that's okay. One is fine. And this guy's almost done, so there's another quick hit here. Uh, not one more. Jeez. But even though the clam does get hit and this part does appear, just like that, this is the positron generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine could generate incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Those instant space needles will taste better heated up. Nice. So, how many? I think there's 20 Pikmin to carry this part back. So... Uh, well, first of all, I should probably have the Pikmin, you know, carry this up. And now that we've broken that down, that's a nice, easy way to get the part back. Uh, we're gonna take that up there just like that. And then we're gonna have all of our reds take that back. Because I don't need any other types of Pikmin. Probably for the rest of this time that we're here. And that's good. Alright, so you guys can take that back. And you know what? Sure, some yellows can do it too. That's okay. All right, now that they have that, these crystals, like I said, they spawn 50 Pikmin when they're brought back to base. Yeah, as you can tell, this is really nice. So if I lose one Pikmin from this clam, for example, I'm not going to be upset. Like, it's going to be a good time. Um, I'm either thinking I can have the blue... Oh, okay. I'm thinking I could either have the blues bring it back, both of them, that way we have a good amount of... Um, blue Pikmin, or I can have a blue and a yellow. Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. And we have it covered 9 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 3 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Unfortunately, that's the only... Oh, oh nice. That's the only part we're going to actually get today. <laughs> which is unfortunate. 
But for the amount of Pikmin we're getting out of the day, this isn't bad. This is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and just get some more on there. Oh, God. Okay. So how many does this take? Three? That's it? Holy cow, that is really nice. And I believe if you need more Pikmin, you can come back here as many times as you want to make a day full of getting Pikmin. So that wouldn't be a bad idea if you really need a ton of Pikmin. But overall, well, you know what, it's fine. We're going to get a ton anyway. I think it's 50. I would have to check the meter on the bottom just to check for sure, because I'm not exactly sure. We'll just have to wait till they bring it back to base and see what happens. But I'm really thinking it's 50. I really do. I think it's 50. Yeah, look at that. Look at those numbers, man. That is a lot. And they only take three to get back to base. So basically the rest of the day is just going to be spawning as much picking as possible. So what I'm thinking, there's this 20 pellet here that I really don't want to waste. So I could have the blues carry this back and then have the yellows take that the 20. I think that would be pretty smart. I would think. And there's all I mean there's also a 20 pellet right there. Nah. You know what? I'm gonna have the yellows bring this back. Because even though I did say they're not gonna be that much more useful, I mean we still need them. And I mean we're still gonna get a ton of blues anyway just from the pellets alone that we have already created. Created. We didn't create anything. Alright, so we're going to take our blues, and we're going to take this 20 pellet back. And like I said before, this is the remainder of this day is just spawning Pikmin. There's really not much. If we've gotten as, basically everything that we possibly can already throughout the day, I'll just call it early. But, I mean, that would, think, that would only be the case if I deem there's really not much left to do on this day. Like, if I've gotten all the big pellets and all that's left is small ones. I mean, we still have, we can still get nectar, can't we? I think we can still get nectar. Well, let's go ahead and bring this big old pellet back. Well, it sucks I have to kind of go back, which is fine. Uh, how many Pikmin do I have right now? I'm going to have to pluck these boys. Are these reds already uh, flowered? That's kind of nice. So there you go. They'll bring that back, and then they can... Oh, I have to make these guys appear. That's fine. So when we see the totals for the end of the day, we're going to see that there's a ton of Pikmin, let me tell you. And how many Pikmin are still out and about? It seems they're all here, right? There's a hundred already, but where am I missing 40? Oh, they're over here. There we go, all a hundred Pikmin. Uh, what's to do? Um, did I already check the nectar for the day? Is there a... Yes, there is a place for nectar. Um, what I can do... 82. That's a lot. Um, we're gonna want to... Well, you know what? Yeah. I know I'm a little sporadic at the moment, but what I want to do is I want to um, kind of flowerize all the blues that we have because that's important. We're going to need a lot of blues flowered. Basically, all of our Pikmin need to be flowered, really. But as you can see, we have more than 100 already in our air in our uh, inventory. I call them my inventory. Um, but we're going to go ahead and turn these guys all into pit, uh, flowers, or at least most of them. Like, that's pretty good. Is there any more? Oh, there. Oh, yes. Please, just give me all the flowers, man. Man, look at all this nectar. So much nectar. Well, there we go. So now I can go ahead and put these guys back. And then I'm going to take out the yellows. And we're going to make them all flowers, too. Now, is that all of them? I'm sorry, I'm coughing like crazy. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in this series, but the reason why I haven't updated videos for this in a while is because I've been really sick, like to a point of just massive coughing, and it's just unbearable to listen. Where is there a Pikmin out? Oh, this, he's sprouted, okay. Wait, oh, he's just chilling. Okay, I understand. So we'll put him back, and then we'll take out all of the yellows. Wow, we have, do we just have shy of 100? Dang, we really just have shy of 100. I mean, to be fair, 96 is more than what you're gonna need for the rest of the game, honestly. I don't think you'll need any more than this. And I doubt all of these guys are gonna get flowered, but we can get them as much flower as possible. And by that, I mean like two. Alrighty, well. I think overall, this has been a pretty good day. Will I have enough time to bring that pellet back? And if so, who do I want it for? Um, maybe I can give it to the yellows? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna put these guys back, actually, and then take out just the flowers so I can help them carry that red pellet back. Will I have enough time? I mean, if I'm only having 20 Pikmin, I think it'll be okay. And I kind of want, like, more than 100 uh, yellows. Like I said, just for the sake of having 100. So, we'll take our 20 uh, yellows that we do have, and we're just going to go and scout for that uh, pellet, that 20 pellet. I think we'll have enough time to bring this. Oh, there's also one right here. Well, you know what? We'll go for this one, because it's right here. And having exactly 20, that's good. I could go for that red pellet as well, but I think we have more than enough um, more than enough reds to last the rest of the game. There we go. So we'll just have them carry this back. And then we should be good in the hood, honestly. I see really no need for any problems. Do you really have to take the long way, dude? Do you really have to take the long way? Eh. This is not even a problem. All right, just take it back to the onion. Actually, I'm going to want 100 Pikmin on the field. That way, it doesn't sprout the Pikmin in the ground. If they have time to bring it back. Oh, it's going to be really close. Where's the... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it up. It's right there. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And we have 100 in our slot, in our inventory, as I keep calling it. We're good. Look at all the 100 Pikmin in our squad. We lost like three, but just see how much we've actually made today. There is a ton. And overall, I think that's pretty good. Only getting one ship part is eh. But I mean, we fully completed the impact site, so we never have to come back. Even though there's only two ship parts here. So far, so good. That way, tomorrow, or in the next episode, we're going to be heading back to the Forest Naval with our amazing squad. Like, we have so many squads right now, there's just no telling what we can do. I'm just hoping that nothing respawns. Five days since impact. I have seen that at times the leaf atop of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I have found flower pikmin to possess increased swiftness. When in a rush, I found pressing and holding A, then calling the flower pikmin forth with the control pad to be quite an effective strategy. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the result of seeds being left behind. Oh, look at that. We've only lost three, but we sprouted 168 pikmin. Basically, our yellows and blues grew a lot. Unfortunately, the reds kind of stayed stagnant. But look at our numbers we have. 142 reds, 116 yellows, and 109 blues. Oh, we're good to go, guys. We are so good to go. So, next time on Pikmin, we're going to be heading back to the Forest Naval. And I doubt we're going to get everything we can here. But we're going to do a lot nonetheless since we have a ton of Pikmin. And I think that's pretty darn good. With that being said... Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Pikmin. I will see you guys then.